Venous disease is widely prevalent. Unfortunately, most of the people or I would say patient ignores it and they think that it's just part and parcel of unfortunately getting old. But it's actually a spectrum of disease which varies from just simple dilatation of the veins to, to the other extreme where patient can have a significant ulcer and frequent cellulitis. The older age has a very high prevalence of having chronic venous disease along with family history of having chronic venous disease. Uh, certain occupations also put them at a higher risk of having chronic venous disease. So like teacher that tends to stand up for whole day for many, many years. In a female, if they have a multiple childbirth, also increases the risk of having chronic venous disease. And also anybody who has a clot uh, or thrombus uh, in their veins also predispose them to have chronic venous disease. That certain race has a high prevalence of chronic venous disease, especially non-Hispanic whites, but that does not mean that other races don't have the chronic venous insufficiency. Female has very high prevalence of uh, chronic venous uh, insufficiency, almost five times higher than the male population. As far as symptom concern, it's very subjective. People may describe it as a pain, as a heaviness, as a muscular cramp, the spider veins, a varicose vein, discoloration of the skin, thickening of the skin, sometimes venous ulcer, as well as cellulitic changes as well. The another most common symptoms also are having leg swelling, which usually progressively get worse as the day goes on, as the patient tends to sit, walk, or stand for a long time. Diagnosis of chronic venous disease is obviously to get the very good history from the patient and a good physical examination by the physician. And if you wanted to confirm the diagnosis, we do a completely non-invasive modality, which is ultrasound. A careful ultrasound of our veins will tell us whether this person has chronic chronic venous disease or not, and it also tell us what degree of chronic venous disease that person has. As far as the treatment concern, we categorize the treatment for chronic venous disease uh, in a two different basket. One is non-invasive treatment, which includes compression stockings, leg elevation, and certain exercises help them to mitigate some symptoms of chronic venous disease and they don't cure the problem they just give a symptomatic relief if somebody really wanted to cure that problem we do a minimally invasive procedure at our clinic it's usually done percutaneously means without making any incision it takes about half an hour at most to do the procedure and most of the time we do those procedures under local anesthesia and the best thing about this type of procedure is patient can walk out right after we finish the procedure. So there is no recovery time. Mm -hmm.